Let's start candle settings. As a candle maker, I come across images like this way too often, unfortunately. So let's talk about how not to burn your house down. First of all, if the candle have anything other than wax in it, assume that it's unsafe to burn. And I'm talking about those candles with dry flowers, sage, crystal, even plastic like glitter. Ain't no hate to those who make these candles. I've even seen it in big box store. But here's the thing. Dry flower can catch on fire. Crystal can explode at high temperature. Plastic can release toxic gas when burned. So they are best used as decoration. Second of all, there are dangers that you cannot see, like an inappropriate vessel. So if you use a non-heat resistant vessel, it can crack or explode when it's burned. And I have even seen wood vessels, and uh, they can work if treated properly. But there's no way for you to know unless you ask the maker themselves. So here are some safety tips. Most candles come with a warning label. Please follow it. It usually include things like burn with inside and away from any flammable material. And if you can talk to the maker, ask them about their process. Be polite, of course, but uh, a good candle maker should test the candle to, to see if it's safe to burn. And last, but probably the best safety tip, is to buy one of these candle warmers to avoid having an open flame in your house. This will help you melt most candles, even the one with foreign objects in them. Just make sure that you take out the foreign objects as soon as you can. And that's it. Stay safe.